Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to give a French country inspired makeover with some of my thrift finds. So I gathered together a few things. This is an all surface enamel from Sherman Williams. This is a really good quality paint and I find that makes a difference. I don't like chalk paint. Um, I do use it on occasion but I prefer a regular paint and then to finish used other paints to give it the ideal look that I'm looking for. So um, this was a, a jug that I found a few months ago um, and it was just, it didn't quite fit any of the categories. I had it in my transferware cupboard but it wasn't really transferware, the colours weren't right but it wasn't, it just wasn't working for me so it was a perfect candidate for a makeover. So I give it a couple of coats of this paint um, obviously making sure that the darker areas are well covered um, and then once that's drying I'm going to give the same couple of coats of paint to the pineapple. So I'm going to leave this to dry and then I'm going to do the same process with the pineapple. So I give it a good coat first of all, and then I go back and almost stipple to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Um, so obviously this one takes a little while longer because it's a little bit more intricate, there's more detail to it, but exactly the same process and wait for them to dry. Now this little horse is something that I bought for my mom when I was just out of school in one of my first jobs. I used to bring her home something what, maybe once a month and this is probably the second thing that I bought her. It was, um, she used to like horses. So um, I don't use it in my decor very often because it doesn't really go. So I thought, well, if I give it a quick paint and update it, I can use it in my everyday decor. And it's, I think it's a perfect, again, a perfect candidate for to give it a French country look. So um, two coats of white paint and uh, a little bit of a distress. So once the pineapple and the jug were dry, I took the metallic silver. Now this has an almost iridescent finish to it. And what I did was I put a little bit in the cap and then I took some paper towel, but you could use a sponge, whatever you want to use. I just find the, the paper towels handy because I can dab it on and then wipe it off. And I find this gives uh, an uneven aged look. Um, it's not quite as stark as a brown or a black this is more of a time-worn look it, it's it's higher gloss in some places and then satin in others and this looks as though it's been around and it's worn over time so i added this finish to the pineapple and then also to the jug So 
So once the jug, what I did with the jug actually, I did a little bit too much of the silver. So I went back, wiped most of it off and still it was still a little glossy. So I got the brush with the white paint on and almost stippled back white paint um, in different directions. And then this gave it more of a an antique look because you could still see the silver high gloss points underneath but it definitely had more of an aged look to it. If you can see just off to the side there, there's a little glass uh, perfume bottle. I also poured the silver paint into that and coated the inside and that gave it a really pretty look. So this love seat is one that I've had for many, many years and I haven't been able to decide where or what I want to do with it. So I move it from room to room. Um, so what I decided for this room, because I'm trying to give, make it look like a sitting room in the library, I've decided to do it in a green to match the curtains and the wallpaper. So I've pulled off the staples um, that held the trim and got rid of the trim. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it in this green. So this green is a, a silk, uh, like a satin on one side and then the other side it um, almost looks like a, a brushed cotton and that's the side that I'm going to use, not the shiny side, the dull side. Just because it, it looks better in this type of room, it's not a formal look, it's more um, a usable uh, material when it's got the matte side on. So that's what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to do that on the seat and on the back and then um, on the reverse of the chair I'm going to do this the shiny side and on the arms I'm going to use this do the shiny side so uh, this is this is what I did so the back is stapled all the material is on and all I do then is trim it um, because I'm going to be going over it with a braid so you cover the staples so you want to make sure that you have enough material that it's going to keep um, within the staples but you also don't want any of the material showing so once this is done I'm going to add the trim around all this and cover all the staples you can see that I reversed the material on the hand grips and again stapled it I'm just going to trim that and cover it with the braid. So once I was happy with how all the material was attached, I went looking for trim and couldn't find any trim that was the right colour. So I measured it from my existing trim. In fact, this was from my latest thrift haul. Um, I've used that, I've measured it to make sure it goes all the way around and then I've mixed acrylic paint and I'm going to paint it. And I've done this before and it works out really well. So I took the green leaf, um, a little bit of brown and a little bit of black and I've come up with this colour which is almost like a, a very sludgy brownie green but it works perfectly 
with the material. So I paint the trim and try, sorry about the camera, I'm trying to do this with one hand and film. So once I've painted the trim and it's all dried out, it is a little bit stiffer but it still works perfectly well. And here is the finished item and I think it's turned out really nicely. Um, that coffee table uh, buffet is the one from the living room which was the red material and I just had this tablecloth actually and just recovered it with this. Again it's a quick fix just to match so that the room matches but uh, um, it's just folded material and stapled in and there's not even any glue used the only glue is used on the trim to cover the staples this can quite easily be returned to the uh, red fabric once I'm uh, decided what I'm going to do with it properly you can see how the trim looks you would know that it's been painted by hand um, it's a good match with the material and the wood now I still might uh, gold leaf the the higher details on that couch but uh, we'll wait and see for that but I'm really pleased with how it turns out and it just looks so pretty with the uh, with the rest of the room with the green curtains and the wallpaper I do have a different rug that's going down but that floor is also being replaced so once it's all done I will have an update This candlestick is the one that I painted a couple of weeks ago. It's just slightly distressed again and it gives that very rustic French country feel. <laughs> 